I had I presented so many different points of view on CKL Radio that people figured they could take some of the points of view and think that was one person and miss the other seemingly points of view or schools of thought and not know uh, that that could be perceived and then some other name would be identified with them. So it's great. It's a great modern... Uh, it was the last great art before Ion showed up to clear everything up. Yeah. <laughs> So you are talking to a great prophet that will be not really understood for another three, three or four weeks, maybe. <laughs> oh, right. For the, yeah, we're coming down to the finish line. Pretty. Every, it's like when an, I like to talk about the, the water draining in a bathtub. It really starts to spin in the last 10 seconds as the last bit goes down the drain. Well, we can look at an incredible amount of spinning going on sped up over the next month as my radio show permeates everywhere in its effect. Now, does that also have to do with people's um, anxieties and changes and thoughts and emotions that it just kind of makes it a little bit more extreme for this month? Yes, and uh, it's the media iconography that's come with 2012. I mean, there was a big big movie made a couple of years ago called 2012, where basically the whole planet was wiped out. Uh, it's a meme, an image that's been going around. Uh, but the changes that are happening, regardless of what the media imagery is, is what Ion's documenting, and those are having incredible effects on people. The, the change in substance and matter, and um, uh, the appearance of things like sinkholes. Just people cannot rely on what they see anymore as a stable artifact. Yeah. So they're, they're starting to get their, maybe like the dream world mixed into their waking world? Yes, or... we call it... It, uh, I call it parallel world, the mixture of worlds, because all the portals are open now, so anybody can be portaling anywhere. So, on the and from the hospital's point of view, you see a, you see an increasing of, uh, of schizophrenia, paranoia, hysteria. These are technical terms, and now they kind of lump it into bipolar, which is a silly term because people should at least are at least four levels, four aspects. So it's quadripolar, not bipolar. But the medical establishment is always uh, lazy and keeps it simple because they don't want to get too involved in helping anybody. Right. So this month, um, Ian is basically saying that um, things are going to be ch changing more and what you see isn't really what's there or what That's you... Right. What you're thinking is more real than what you're actually seeing and it gets more and more pronounced as the weeks go on? Not what you're thinking. Uh, what okay. you say and gesture will have a stronger effect on, on things. So it's almost that people will be encountering a stasis, a plateau, a um, constancy. These, these tumultuous changes the last 30, 40 years or even 100 years will have reached a, uh, a point of leveling off into a higher intensity, a higher level of bliss or proprioceptive feeling. And that's what's going to show, shake up people. They won't like that intensity. They want to get away from it, so they'll commit suicide. Now, the amazing thing is that um, we here in Dobbs Town or Iron Dome actually have solutions for this in increased intensity of proprioception and, uh, and confusion with the RNA drops. <laughs> it is, it's almost like uh, Aldous Huxley's novel, Brave New World, talks about Soma, the drug that people kept... Um, passive on or kept it calm, our RNA drops is kind of like a soma that uh, that is really the only solution to surviving this if you're upset. And most people are going to be upset and they require the RNA drops because uh, the matter is turning upside down so nobody escapes that. So if you have RNA drops to balance it out a bit or put you in a poise, uh, you can survive it. So it's, a, it's really the end of the world. It's a battle between those who are lucky enough to get the RNA drops and those who don't.